Despite losing its season opener, the Virginia baseball team still holds the number one ranking in the country through the first two weeks of the season. Well, I tell you, I'm, I'm very happy with the, the way that our ball club has played in these first two weeks of the season. You know, I'm very, very pleased. And you know, we had a difficult loss in the in the opener against Kentucky. And you know, the thing about baseball is you don't win all your games, and it's a matter of how you respond to it. And I, you know, I feel like we're doing really well. I feel like our starting pitching has been very solid, and our our team defense has been tremendous. And you know, I felt those two things would be, as I do every year, very important for to have a championship type ball club. Fires back towards first base. They're going to double him up. Joe McCarthy, a running catch that turns into a double play. As on the move, he unloads with the throw on a hop. Mike Pappy makes the catch, and that's all she wrote here at the top of the fourth. Head coach Brian O'Connor recognizes the opportunities that lie in front of this year's squad. Well, every, every season, every team is, is, is unique and, and different. Uh, you know, this is one of those teams like we had in 2010 and 2011 where, you know, it's a veteran ball club. They, they know what it takes to be successful at this level. And that comes from experience. It comes from experience and, and having success, which this, this group has had. It's the only team that I've ever played on through the entire roster that it's just we're here to do our part and not one person is trying to win the, win the game uh, single-handed. I mean, you look at it, our lineup is incredible. Our, our pitching staff and our pitching as a whole is incredible. And, um, guys are just going out there um, knowing what their role is and just you know going pitch by pitch and collectively it just comes together. Obviously, you know, weekends come together, games come together, being very successful. Slider in there called strike three. He front doors him and does pick up strikeout number seven. O'Connor knows that even with all of the veteran ball players, there are some newcomers that will play a vital role this season. Well, this first year recruiting class that we have here, I, I felt was a very talented class, both from a pitching standpoint and a position player standpoint. The contributions early in the season that you know, Danny Pinero's made at the start and every game at shortstop, and you know, Matt Thice has made with the bat for us, and and the job Connor Jones has done for us out of the bullpen. You know, I think all three of those players and probably a couple more as we move along the season are going to make uh, significant impacts to kind of supplement what we have is for the veteran players on this team. As one of those upperclassmen, junior Derek Fisher has made great strides developing as a leader both on and off the diamond. Coming in here, I had a lot of questions as a, as a first year, and um, I expected that out of these guys too. I'm just here just for questions, and I'm not a very big vocal leader. You know, I like to do it by example, and I like just giving, you know, pointers to the first years. And I know that means a lot to them because this is a season that they've never experienced before. Around third, getting waved to the plate, comes down. Fisher coasts into second base, throwing the plates up the line as down slides in safely, and that's a big RBI double from Derek Fisher. Well, I'm so proud of the development that Derek Fisher has uh, had in this program. You know, he came in as a very highly touted player that, that needed to learn how to play, quite frankly, and needed to develop as a baseball player. His skill set is as good as you, you will find. You know, his ability to run and his athleticism and his hitting ability and, you know, all those at-bats and all those games that he's played in in his two years here and then away in the summer has brought him to this point where he is now and he's very much an experienced, calm, confident player uh, and that's what you need out of your veteran players. Fisher spent last summer as an all-star with the Harwich Mariners of the Cape Cod League and he's realizing the benefits of playing on the Cape. That was the, the best competition I've ever faced night in and night out. When you go there, there's expectations, there's, um, there's obviously people talking about how good the league is and personally never being there before, I never really, I didn't know what to expect. So getting there, you know, realizing how good the pitching really is um, every single solitary night, how good the defense is, I think it was just to, to keep baseball simple and not try and do too much, for sure. This team has a goal that all starts with a very symbolic four-digit number, 1186. I mean, that's something that we follow and, and, and trek all the way through the season, following the season, even through the summer when we're apart from each other. I mean, it's obviously the mileage from here to Omaha and it's something that I haven't experienced and being here for three years it's something that I you know really do expect to experience and um, and I think if you ask anybody in the clubhouse including the coaches it's it's going to be uh, pretty much the same answer as it's every single year that's the expectation is win a national championship.